What's up, guys? Tim, some damn fools. Well, it's update time. And made a big change today. Y'all know this old lady's 420. I told y'all when I got the K&M, I said I had to put two for one and uh, get the K&M. And the doctor had just told her no riding. Well, the doctor's cleared her. She's feeling a lot better. She's still taking it easy, but nonetheless, this bike needs a top end and it needs some rims. So, in order for me to come back to, you know, summer's tight for us, summer's tight. Um, she's a school teacher. So, for me to come back to getting into her bike and getting it done in a timely manner and it's in line, I had to make a move today. So, Can Am is gone. And yes, I'm fine with that. It's just a machine. It went to my brother. Um, the Ginger Avenger, y'all see it, lives on there. So, there's the rims and tires on the Brute. Y'all seen the Brute in the video. It's back. Um, I think I'm going to take these covers off maybe paint. Now, I'd go to the next guy. The Brute is up for trade right now. Craigslist and Rack's Deep Page on Facebook uh, for a Honda. I'm looking for a Honda Foreman 500 with diff lock. So, 840 kit, new differential, blah, 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 stereo, rims and tires. So, I gave that for the Brute back and a unmolested 98, 304 tracks. Unmolested. Got some tires on it. Got a light bar on it. But other than that, it is bone fucking stock. So, yeah, I, uh, I like, you know, I like that, I like the thought of that deal, so, you know, I know what the Brute is now, really, I didn't mess with it too much, didn't care to, but since Brandon's put some time in it, you know, and, and time on it, we now know what it'll do, so, um, the Brute's gonna go, for me, a Honda, and I'm gonna go back to a Honda, you know, I mean, I'd, that big bike is cool, but on the group rides, everybody that rode has been with me since that damn thing. You know, you know, and ain't nothing, ain't nothing sexy about getting towed the hell out every time you hit a hole because you gotta cut the bike off, put it in neutral, and tow it out under some weight or it'll break something. You know, I mean, it's it's just it's not practical for me. I, I you know, we ride too much, and Cape Fear, you know, we ride a lot. It's got too tight a trail, so I'm not fighting it no more. I'm done with that. Um, so. Yep, got the 300, got the money, there's another part of it. I mean, I didn't take just the Brute, it's a Brute, the 300, and a considerable sum of cash. Needless to say, the rebuild is going to be $800 on the Rancher, and it's covered. Um, not sure what the fate of the 300 is. Uh, you live in southeastern North Carolina, hit me up, it's been unmolested. I got a neighbor that's after it. Um, I may end up back with the Warrior that I got the old lady for her birthday. That 350 Warrior, he wants to put that in some cash for the 300. So we'll see how that goes. Um, he wasn't feeling today, but yep, the Can Am's gone, but the shop is full, and so is my heart because she has got a spot in line with the guru. When the guru calls, you've got about two hours to get there, or he will pass you by. And I have got the money to do the rebuild and to put the rims and tires on her bike. So, old lady's gonna have a paddled. 420 top to bottom front to back in and out new everything with a fresh rebuild some new rims and tires and i'm gonna turn this into a honda a big one a nice one don't know what we're gonna do with the 300 still not sure so either way it's a pawn in the game and it may have to be budgeted out somewhere and sold um to just ensure, facilitate that my Honda that I'm getting is going to be some boss shit. So if I take it already hooked up from somebody, I've got to check everything that comes with it. And if I buy a trade for a stock one, which I damn sure would do, then you know it's going to have to have some juice on it immediately. So I'm going to have to, uh, that's why, you know, the 300, the 300 could go. It's a stock unmolested bike. It's never been touched other than a set of rims. You know, excuse me, mud tires, and uh, very nice example of an untouched one. So, all right, guys, that's the update, and uh, don't.
don't think we're riding this weekend and going to try and push like hell so I can get a trade for Jaden Rowley's birthday ride. So um, the weekend of the 12th at Busco. We will holler at y'all soon when I got something else to tell you. Y'all take care. Have a great day.